Now, the Wabash Valley's most accurate and reliable newscast continues with Storm Team 10's Joseph Dames. Well, welcome back to News 10 Midday. I hope you're having a great start to your Wednesday. We're in the middle of the week and we didn't start off as rainy as we did yesterday. We had that widespread rain and now as we head into our afternoon for our Wednesday, most of us are looking pretty dry. Matter of fact, there's actually a little bit of sunshine out there right now. Wasn't the case early this morning. Most of that rain has been concentrated off to the southeast for the early morning. So really areas from Vincennes off to Washington and even further off towards Lagodi. They were catching some of that precipitation early this morning as we take a zoomed in look. Still a little bit is there pushing in towards Martin County and off to the east. So this will be kind of the case as we head through our afternoon. We're just going to be more worried about that scattered chance for some showers and even some thunderstorms as we head through our Wednesday. A lot of moisture is still driving in out of the south. We have this low pressure just spiraling right here through the Midwest. And before that leaves the whole region, it's going to continue to provide us with that chance for some isolated rain showers throughout the day. So they're going to be more scattered than what we saw yesterday where they were more widespread and encompassing more of a wide region. So as we head through the day, we'll be talking about even some more rainfall to kick on to these totals. Look at this. Over the last 24 hours, there's about four, five, six neighborhoods on the board here that caught over an inch of precipitation. At our station here downtown, we had about an inch and a quarter. Uh, this is at the airport over the last 24 hours, about half an inch. So a good amount of rainfall that we've picked up and that's going to cause some concerns. So we do have a flood warning and that's mainly along the Wabash River. We'll see those levels go up as those uh, precipitation, the rainfall kind of collects here over the next 24 hours. So like I said, the sun is coming out a little bit for our Wednesday. That's going to help A2 possibly sparking up some showers and even some thunderstorms as we head through the afternoon. Temperatures right around 73 degrees will be topping off in the mid 70s for our afternoon. And like I said, some more cloud coverage will start to build. And as we head through the afternoon, we'll continue to see that. So let's get a little bit further on into this as we get closer towards noon where we are right now and further into our early afternoon. It'll just be those spotty showers really picking up. Our highs today in the 70s, right around 75 degrees right here at home. 76 for you guys in uh, Rockville, 75 rather for you just off to the west too. From Mattoon to Effingham to Flora, mid 70s to the upper 70s for your Wednesday. As we continue into the future cast, this is right around 7 p.m. So if you're heading out this evening, you know, early tonight. We're going to notice that a lot of that moisture is going to be traveling off to the east as we continue on into the overnight hours and as we continue on into tomorrow morning. So low pressure travels off to the east. Look at this. A lot of drier conditions in store for us as we head into our Thursday, which means we'll finally get that sunshine back in the picture as we are looking off into the overnight. Then we'll be talking about another chance for some more precipitation to move on in late Thursday, but that should be rather quick as we head through our Thursday. All right, so here's our day planner. We'll be into those 70s. I'm leaving that chance of rain in throughout the afternoon. As we get into overnight temperatures back into the 60s, and, uh, and then by the seven day, as we get further on into the work week, we're going to be discussing some more warmer temperatures. So look at this Saturday temperatures into the lower 80s, right around 80 degrees. And it's going to be mostly sunny. So out of the weekend, you're going to want to get most of your activities done on Saturday. Any kind of errands that have to get out, do some yard work. Saturday will be the day to do that. Temperatures will bring up for the start of the next work week, but along with it, we're discussing more chances for rain showers and even possibly some thunderstorms as we head into the new work week.